Okay, good evening. Um, man, I always start the day by saying it's a great day to be alive and thank God for every single day and every opportunity that we have uh, every single day. But uh, I'd like to start out by just uh, congratulating Colorado State on a, on a great year. Nico uh, and his team were excellent all year long. Got a chance to watch him play as we were preparing for him, but saw him play all throughout the whole whole season in the Mountain West. Stellar year for the Mountain West Conference, six teams in. A uh, lot of respect for him uh, in his program. Isaiah Stevens, incredible career uh, that he had there. Really proud of these guys here today as well in terms of their effort, how they played, how they, how they carried themselves. You know, we knew it wasn't going to be an easy game tonight. We knew we were going to get a really good run, too, in the second half from a, a team that's had a great season. I thought our guys answered the bell, and uh, I'm really excited for them and what they were able to do tonight. Okay, questions. First for, um, for Dylan, Max, and Kendall, raise your hand. Let's get the mic to you. First question for right. Uh, Josh Newman, LoneStarLive.com. Dylan, it was a bit of a struggle tonight, but over the last seven minutes, it seemed like things really came together for you. You put together some buckets. What changed there over the last seven minutes? Uh, yeah, I mean, I just stayed aggressive. Um, it's hard, especially when nothing seems like it's falling, to stay aggressive. I just, you know, I, I thought I was um, getting some solid looks. They just weren't falling, so I just kept with it. Um, they started falling towards the end of the game. I got a couple of rebounds. Um, got to the free throw line, so um, just just trying to stay with it. Again, first row. This question is for Dylan and Max. Just after coming off of Kansas City, we talked about the really the need to play a consistent 40 minutes of basketball. Just talk about in that second half, what was kind of the message between you know from RT and the group as far as just closing out the game. Uh, I mean, just understanding um, we were in kind of the same position um, last week in Kansas City, uh, where we had a great first half on the defensive end. Um, and then second half, we, we kind of let up that intensity and energy we needed. So, I mean, the talk was, um, you know, we, we learned from that. Um, and going into the second half with the right intensity and energy, um, you know, we knew they were going to run. So um, just being resilient, sticking with it, um, and being able to come out with a victory. Yeah, Max touched on it um, all for the most part. I mean, we knew they were going to make a run. And whenever a team scores, you know, like a, a low number of points like that, 11 points in the first half, they're going to – the, the basket's going to open up for them in the second half, and we knew that was going to happen. Um, but we had to continue to stick with our defensive principles um, and continue to, to play intensively on defense and, and continue to get stops. And that's what we did tonight. Kendall, uh, you, Brock, and Caden came in with about five minutes into the game. How would you describe the impact you guys had uh, specifically on defense? Uh, we just came in knowing we had to get stops, you know. And just playing together, talking, switching, all that stuff. So we just came in, just with our mindset set to get stops. Second round. Guys, I just wonder if you could describe that first half. I mean, holding the team to 11 points. And in particular, what was the strategy for stopping Stevens, who didn't score in the first half? I think we came out with the right intensity. Um, you know, we know they're a really good offensive team. Um, you know, um, you got Stevens, you know, really good elite point guard in the country. So, um, you know, just coming out with the right intensity, playing together, um, kind of having each other's backs. Um, we were able to get some stops in that first half. Max. First half play. First half. First half play what? I was going to let Max answer a question. Yeah, I did. That was me. Yeah, Max. Did. Okay, that was Max. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, uh, I'm sorry. Dylan, go. My bad. Oh, the question was just about how how we stopped Stevens first in the first half. Yeah, I mean. We, we went we went back on um, Saturday and Sunday after the Big 12 tournament. We took we got Friday off. Um, we needed it uh, to, for what was coming on Saturday and Sunday back uh, uh, in the facility. Um, we had a real intense two intense practices. Actually, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, um, some really intense practices, which is exactly what we needed. And a lot of it was defense oriented, um, getting stops and competing against each other, ones on ones, twos on twos. Like um, it didn't matter. Um, and, and so we thought we, we, we brought that tonight, uh, that intensity that we had to on defense and the attention to detail um, within every possession and, and, and talking to each other and working together and covering up for each other when we needed to. Kendall, you want to take a crack? Uh, yeah, I would just piggyback off both of them. <laughs> I'll just <laughs> I'll piggyback off both of them. You know, we had intense practices, so I think that really just set the tone for us. Any other questions for student athletes? Okay, guys, nice job. We'll see you tomorrow. And uh, head back to the locker room, which is still open for a little bit longer.
Sorry, I didn't mean to mess you up there. It's been a long day. Okay, questions for Coach. Again, we'll work the first row. RT, it's no secret that you prioritize everything with defense. Just want to ask you, with that under 16 minute timeout, when you subbed in those three guys and you started to get some of those kills that you talk about, those back to back stops, how much of defense is contagious where just, you know, one stop rolls into two and then the guys really feed off each other? No, Eric, I thought they got off to a pretty good start offensively. We had some really good looks offensively and shots that we would take uh, any day of the week as well. Um, but tonight, we didn't really let it affect our defense. We came back down. We started sitting down and getting some stops. We, Again, our staff did a great job with the one-day prep, getting our guys to really buy into understanding, you know, this team here is a team that really attacks the paint. Colorado State wants to play inside out, and they're elite at it. They're an elite passing team, elite cutting team. I thought our guys did a really good job of trying to take Isaiah out. He's really important to those guys. The last 10 seconds of the shot clock, we wanted somebody else to have to make a play. We didn't really want the post guys to get deep post. Uh, and, and as a result of that, we wanted to get stops and try to push it and play a little faster ourselves and see if we could get some, some paint touches. A big paint touch game for us as well, playing inside out and, and trying to score that way as well. Um, I, I think we were able to do that at a pretty high clip. Brock came in, brought a lot of energy. You know what Kendall's going to bring to the table defensively for us coming in there. Um, no, no one's, everyone's going to look at the box score and see Tyrese with eight points. He did an incredible job on Stevens all night. I thought he, he took that challenge on, and we challenged him. Hey, you're going to one of the best players in the country. We need you to bring your A game defensively. He took that challenge on, did it for a better part of the game, and did it with a smile on his face. And, uh, again, Tyrese is all about winning this time of year. Uh, Josh Newman, LoneStarLive.com. Um, whatever struggles Dylan had tonight offensively, Colorado State's within five, they're within seven. There's five and a half left, six minutes left. Was there any doubt that you were going to keep going to him? Because he's done that for you all year. He's a big time player. He's had, a, he's had an incredible year for us this year. And, uh, you know, when a guy's struggling a little bit like that, you just continue to pick him up and say, hey, you're going to shoot the next one. We're coming right to you. You're a big time player. This is your time. It's your stage right now. You and Max, you guys go to work right now. Okay, and let's go. And uh, he did. He stayed, with, he stayed the course, kept working it, made a couple big field goals down the stretch, got to the foul line, and uh, just kept working the game. He had some great looks throughout the whole game and uh, shots he's made all year. And, you know, when, uh, when you have guys like that, you're going to ride those guys all the way through. Thanks. Good reminder for our friends on Zoom, if you have a question, please use the uh, raise hand function. We'll get to you if we can. Any other questions here in the room? Any other questions on Zoom? Okay, thanks, Coach. We'll see you Thank tomorrow. You. Thank you.